Hey, I'm GT Hill from Ruckus Wireless, Technical Marketing Director. I'm actually coming to you from a beautiful Phoenix today. I thought I'd take a little time to talk to you about Wi-Fi interference. Now, interference is a really big deal. Uh, we've thought that uh, since the inception of, our, of Ruckus uh, back in 2004. And uh, Cisco did a great thing today. They actually came out and uh, re-verified what we already knew. Uh, they came out with a technology called Clean Air Technology. Uh, their technology is essentially a spectrum analyzer built into the access point. So it can do spectrum analysis remotely. It can tell you if there's Bluetooth or microwave ovens out there. Uh, a few things I want to talk about that. Number one, uh, Bluetooth and microwave oven, you find that as a source of interference, what are you going to do? So some of the actions you could take is you could say, well, no Bluetooth use or microwave oven use during high throughput hours where you want high throughput for your Wi-Fi, so maybe you, uh, you give hours of operation for your microwave oven and for people using Bluetooth. Uh, obviously, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So one of the things at Ruckus that we talk about uh, is interference avoidance. Now, the biggest source of interference is not a microwave oven. It isn't the, your Bluetooth. It isn't a cordless phone. The biggest source of interference in almost every implementation is the Wi-Fi network itself. It comes down to very simple things. When an access point that transmits omnidirectionally, an access point here in the middle, let's give it uh, three beautiful 802.11n antennas here. When it transmits omnidirectionally, hey, that's fine. But what if there's other access points in the area, your own access points in the area? So you have this nice channel overlap. Ooh, it's like pretty there. And so you get this nice channel overlap. You're doing channels 1, 6, and 11, just like you're supposed to and you've designed your system at negative 67 dBm because that's what the voice guys tell you to do. However, one of the biggest problems is, of course, you're going to need more than three access points. So what happens when these two access points, both on channel one, can hear each other? Well, according to my circles, they can't. Real life, they can. Because this negative 67 dB circle that goes out here actually keeps on traveling. So the negative 95 DBM circle that it creates actually overlaps multiple access points. It is a fact of most Wi-Fi networks today, their biggest source of interference is their own Wi-Fi network because of this co-channel interference problem. Now let's say your new spectrum analysis in an access point product finds a source of interference. It says, ah, there's Bluetooth right here. The Bluetooth on channel one. What are you going to do about it? So you can go in there, you can manually change this channel, or the system will automatically change the channel to what? 6 or 11. It's only got two other channels to choose from. It changes to channel 6, you're exacerbating the problem. Now you have uh, RF, Wi-Fi design is always about channel utilization. When it comes right down to it, that's what Wi-Fi design is about, is using the channel as efficiently as possible. Sources of interference do cause problems, I'm not going to deny that. But solving interference problems has actually very little to do with detecting it. Again, it's like being told you have a, an illness that's going to kill you, but it's not curable. Re you can't cure these sources of interference without having some ridiculous policy about microwave ovens, cordless phones, Bluetooth, etc. The real key to interference avoidance is to avoid causing yourself interference. A ruckus access point, we'll make our cool dome shape access point here. A ruckus access point only send signal where it needs to go. You put in multiple ruckus APs. So here's our multiple APs, one, six, and 11. Yes, they will cover in a circle. They will give you omnidirectional coverage, but when they're gonna send a signal to a station, they only send it where it needs to go. So when it sends a signal only where it needs to go, look, it's going to, you can add as many access points as necessary which, by the way, is always about 25 to 40 percent less with ruckus gear, because we're beam forming the signal, gives you more signal, which equals more data rate. And since we're beaming it and avoiding interference elsewhere, remember, we're not transmitting signal in the red areas. We're causing less interference. If a source of interference is right here, and we're beaming that to this station, we are avoiding that interference coming from that device. We're not listening in that direction, and we're going to transmit with up to 10 decibels more gain to that station. So the reality is, 
uh, avoiding interference. If you can find interference on a network, you can buy spectrum analyzers that do that. They're very inexpensive. For $200, you can buy a spectrum analyzer and you can find all the sources of interference. But what are you going to do about it? That's the problem. We know we can find sources of interference. We've been able to do that for a decade uh, in Wi-Fi ever since it came out. But what do we do with it once we find it? The key to getting more consistent Wi-Fi, send the signal only where it needs to go, avoid listening to those sources of interference, uh, get a gain in signal, signal to noise ratio, so we can gain 10 decibels on the transmit side. We can get a negative gain. We can actually block up to 20 decibels interference. The end result is higher throughput, higher data rates, more consistent connectivity, and you're avoiding the interference, not detecting it and getting frustrated because you can't do anything about it. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me, gt.hill at ruckuswireless.com, or contact any one of our uh, qualified salespeople or SEs. We'd be happy to answer questions about this for you. Thank you very much for taking your time to listen to me. I'll see you again at the next Textravaganza.